A new procedural called Flakes has been added to our texturing toolkit and I thought we could take a look at it. So I've just got this basic uh, little jello box here and uh, we'll use this as our uh, object that we'll texture and I'm going to head over to the surface editor and open up the node editor. I'm going to go ahead and close the surface editor just to make a little room. Okay, And what I'll do is go over to add node, 3D texture and I'm going to choose Flakes. Now Flakes is the same texture that is being used in the car paint material node. So my suggestion would be uh, take a look at the car paint uh, video so you can kind of see how that's used in that material node. Well it's been broken out into its own procedural texture so that we can use it outside of that material. Okay so you can kind of see in this little uh, um, this little display here that we've got these um, random little shapes uh, that are various shades but I'm going to go ahead and drop it on uh, drop it into the color input and do a render and you can see the pattern it kind of looks like uh, scales or uh, flagstone or, or something like that but it's nice little uh, shapes with various shades now when I first saw this I immediately thought oh man I can use this for some kind of like cobblestone flagstone type thing so I'll plug it into the bump so let me go ahead and just take it off of color and plug it into bump and do a render well we can see something is happening, but because there are no edges to this uh, to this procedural texture, we're not actually going to see the bump that we're after. So I I was immediately disappointed. I was like, well, no, this is going to be perfect for this. Well, it, once I discovered what we can do to get that bump, uh, then all kind of possibilities opened up. And uh, the way I discovered it was actually uh, James Wilmot. He pointed out something that's extremely important about uh, working with flakes that, uh, that you've got to remember and that is that flakes lines up perfectly with veins, crumple, crackle, and crust. Okay, so if you use those textures in combination with uh, flakes you can uh, get some amazing results and so what I thought we could do is, is take a look at that. So what I'm going to do is plug the color into color and then I'm going to start with uh, something like crust okay so because it's two completely different textures we've got these uh, kind of boxy uh, uh, wacky shapes and then we've got a bunch of dots okay random size dots so I'm going to plug uh, that into bump and let's just add a little bit of uh, width to this so I'm going to say 50 percent in contrast let's do uh, 40 percent okay and first I'm just going to do a render so we can see the bump okay and we can see um, that we've got these uh, random little uh, dots okay and then I'm going to plug the color uh, I'm going to plug flakes into the color channel and do a render now what I want you to, to notice is that where every one of those dots is it just so happens to line up with the um, different shades of the flakes this is awesome now you could say well wait a minute you know it's a different shape so how can I really take advantage of that that doesn't look all that great well here's what we can do because these are the same scale uh, they're gonna line up so if we wanted to uh, really take advantage of this what we could do is I'm just going to take crust and I'm gonna plug the color into opacity okay so what I'm telling it is I want the flakes texture I want the the shading of the foreground to be controlled the the trans the opacity or transparency of that um, by the crust so whatever is white is going to show and whatever is black isn't going to show so let's take a look at the result so as you can see we we've now said wherever those uh, dots are I want it to be bumped and I also want it to display the flakes which are going to be various shades here but we're masking it so it looks like we've got these bumped shapes that uh, are different shades which is pretty cool so what I can do is um, let's just add a gradient I'm just gonna kinda build this up a little bit I'm gonna add a gradient okay and uh, I'm gonna plug the color into the input and the color into the color so now the flakes is driving the gradient okay and the flakes are only gonna show up where the crust is uh, telling it to and then I'm just gonna add let's do uh, blue uh, let's do a darker shade of blue maybe and then we'll do a lighter shade of blue okay and so as you can see the input parameter is ghosted out because it's being uh, driven by this flake so let's do a render of that 
Okay, so we can see that the, uh, the flakes is what's changing the different shades of that, and the different shades are based off of this right here, this gradient. Okay, and we're bumping it with the crust. So we now can use flakes as an easy way to change up the values, uh, the shades of uh, the, uh, the texture here. Now what we can also do is just plug alpha over to spec and then we can have these various shades. Remember that's just a scalar, that's um, you know black and white information so we can drive specularity with that and now we've got different um, values of specularity uh, from the flakes driving right into specular. Okay, so that's one example. Let's do one more example and give you an idea. Remember, uh, uh, the, the tip that I got from James Wilmot that kind of changed everything for me was knowing that flakes lines up with veins, crumple, crackle, and we just saw that it, it's lining up with crust here. Let's try it with veins because I think it's going to give me what, uh, what I was after to begin with where I was like, oh, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed in, uh, in the fact that I can't